As we approach Earth Day this weekend, CBS News and KDKA continue to highlight our commitment to covering stories about the environment all year long. Now, earlier this week in our Earth 365 series, we explore the factors behind the unusually warm winter we had and the impact that it's having on local crops and farming. That's not the only fallout from that warm winter we had. Ray is here now with the impact on the tick population, which I will admit is not something I think about a lot. Yeah, yeah. but uh, Pennsylvania is known for ticks. We're like a tick yes. hotspot and having warmer temperatures during the winter might have you jump to the conclusion that automatically you'll see more ticks, but the tick problem is far more complex than just that. We have black legged ticks uh, in every six, in all 67 counties in the Commonwealth. And we have uh, a lot of those pathogens that the black legged tick can transmit in every county in the Commonwealth as well especially Lyme disease and uh, the cause of evasion of anaplasmosis. And those pathogen passing ticks can be more active in the winter if conditions are right. Usually most ticks, um, specifically the main species of tick that we have in Pennsylvania, which is called the black legged tick, it can only be active if the temperature is above 40 degrees, um, which means that when we have really weak winters, uh, that tick can be active even outside of the normal time frame when we'd expect it to. So kind of the, the time frame when people are, are at risk of tick bites increases. While dealing with the established dog ticks and black legged ticks more of the time, a warmer winter like the one we just finished wouldn't necessarily mean we'd see more of these ticks. But some issues do occur when you see warmer winters over time. Since 1970, Pittsburgh has seen its winters warming on average faster than any other season. This has led to an average of 10 fewer nights each winter with temperatures below freezing. During that same time frame, we've seen an average of eight fewer cold snaps too. As our winter climate is changing, so are some habitats. And with changing habitats come new inhabitants. When you have milder winters, you can see those ticks expand their ranges further and further north. Um, so that's something that we've been seeing in the Northeast, in the upper Midwest, um, where there are some species that have historically been constrained to the southern United States. And it's not just one species making PA their home. The ones that have been increasing are the, the new invasive ticks, such as the Asian longhorn tick, which showed up in Pennsylvania in 2019 and was first discovered in the United States in 2017. The lone star tick, which is another invasive tick in Pennsylvania, has been, uh, they're mostly a southern tick, and I think it's just the, their survivability with the warmer temperatures and their the prime habitat. I think their eggs are viable uh, throughout the winter and becoming uh, more viable as, as the warmer temperatures increase. We have another tick, uh, the Gulf Coast tick that was just discovered in, in 2020 and established populations in the Philadelphia area in 2021 and I think that can be you know attributed to warming weather conditions and the right habitat and that once they find it they can flourish. And controlling tick populations is not as easy as it may sound. There's not one one size fits all widespread tick control option available. Pesticides are available, but pesticides also kill beneficial insects, so they should be used very sparingly. There are things you can do to protect yourself, though. Ticks thrive in tall grasses and bushy areas, and keeping those low in areas where people frequent is important, as is checking yourself and your pets for ticks when you come inside after being in areas like that. Things to keep in mind as our area becomes more hospitable to ticks. Especially these ticks that are expanding north and expanding their range, and we'll continue to see that in Pennsylvania as well. All right, different species of ticks carry different pathogens, so Lyme disease is not the only issue that we're going to see from this. And that said, we're getting into what's called the nymphal black-legged tick season, where the black-legged ticks are in their, their nymph stage. Okay. And that's when they're, they're really small, which makes them harder to detect. So if you do go out and spend a lot of time outside, make sure you check yourself or your yes. kids uh, for ticks when that is all said and done. And our Earth 365 series is actually going to continue tomorrow on the host David Schechter checks in with one of America's top climate scientists to see if we're making any progress on controlling global warming. Plus, KDKA meteorologist Felicia Woody travels to Erie to see how climate change is impacting Lake Erie and in turn our weather and the fishing industry along the lake. And you can find all of our Earth Day content that we do this week on KDKA.com anytime you want.